Uh, welcome back to Twilight Princess. So last episode I spent way too long trying to get a key that was really, really easy to get. Because, you know, Zelda. And I'm going to now go through the keyed locked door that was shown like a couple episodes ago. This one. Let's see what surprises are going to be in store for me here. Oh god, the mini boss. Whoa. Let's see, what does this chest gonna provide for me? Arrows or bombs? Bombs! Hooray! This is like the first game where they actually made bomb arrows like a legitimate, you know, item to use, which is kind of cool. Because that loves me some bomb arrows. Yep, nope, come on. Cool, let's keep going. Cool again, and let's go through here. Arrows, arrows! Aw. Ha! Huh. You look suspicious. Let's fight you. Bye bye. chest of some kind. What does it have? It's a key! Hooray! Meh. Okay, so this looks like it might be uh, the water source or whatever. I can climb up it. Can I not climb up there? That doesn't seem right. Eh. Too short. Um, something doesn't seem right. Why can't I climb up that? It seems the right height. I will assume I can maybe go to the other side. Darn it! I thought I thought it was quicker. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? Well, that was fun. So why couldn't I just... Oh, whatever. They probably made that other door for something different. Hmm. I hear things. Oh, okay. Where do I go? Did I go down there, maybe? Or, hmm, there's some way, it has to be some way to get to the other thing. I guess I'll explore down here first. 
seems like really weird greeting. Wow, there's way too much money for me. I'm way too good at saving money, apparently. Okay, there we go. And I climb my way up. Keep on climbing up. Keep on climbing up. Gotta keep on going up because that's what I believe to do. I must keep climbing up. Gotta keep rolling, rolling up. Roll, roll, roll and stab. Roll, roll, roll and stab. And keep on rolling. Bombs or arrows? Roll the dice. Which one is it? It's the bomb. Hmm. Oh, okay. This will help. What does this do? Ah. So, what is this going to be doing for me exactly? Ah, it lets me go to that center island. What does this do? Yay! Floodgate! I'm dangling. So, this that chest I can see over there, I don't think I can get right now, so... I'll have to just, you know, keep, keep on trucking. Um, I definitely want that ferry over a potion. Ba 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 ba! Ba da! And now I don't need it. Okay, so what do I do here? Ooh! So I guess that's where I have to go now. Thanks game for telling me where to go with the camera. This is one. This is like a good example of a dungeon mechanic that they like to use in Zelda, which is when they like to make you revisit rooms. So basically, you manipulate the dungeon, then re-enter a room, and it acts like a different room, which is really cool. Although not so needed in modern design, because you have the memory for it. Anyways, here we go. Oh, I can't roll upstairs, I forgot. Nope, still can't roll upstairs. So I think I went to the wrong floor, didn't I? Yeah. I need to go to that third door. Where is it? Which floor is it on? Oh, okay. There we go, this way. This is this this away. So now this room went from a simple uh, small key room to a full out blown out spinny room. But sadly we're at the end of the episode. 
Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, have a or keep on gaming.